in that just before the sleep when we make the suggestion of prayer or sleep with a prayerful heart immersed <coughs> in love for god then sleep itself changes its nature it becomes so sweet it becomes very uh, i think most enjoyable sleep it becomes very deep kind of a sleep I will tell you why. First of all, the thought arises. There are irrelevant thoughts. Buffalo is running here. King is. I mean, some cricket game is going on somewhere. You just watched a TV with some movie and all the actors and things like you know the dialogues goes on in your mind during meditation. That is not your creation. Something, but you have participated in something, and it will haunt you for some time until you know on its own it naturally is forgotten. Okay. Now coming back to certain thoughts. Why do the thoughts arise in the first place anyway? You know there are abhyasis who, after years of practice, they come to me and say, "Oh, is there something wrong with me now? I'm not able to think anymore." Even when they consciously try to think, no thoughts are coming. So there is another scenario or another difficulty that we have, and it must be understood properly. Now, let us understand how the thought took hold of us in the first place. How did they become part of us in the first place? For example, if I am arguing with someone on on a small matter, now when that argument is taken to the heart. and heart is so much impressed with this argument you either do dislike it completely or you feel like taking an action because you don't agree with it or both you know it has gone too deep too far in argument so this will settle down in our subconscious also and after some time we forget about it nevertheless it is still hidden in the subconscious which is not healthy for a mind though thought is there but it it is it is it is hiding in the subconscious when we meditate when pranahuti is trying to take us deeper into the subconscious we face that particular impression of that action of argument buried in the form of impression when we come in touch with that it is resurfacing again and when it is resurface it comes back as the way it had entered earlier so it's very simple more and more thoughts coming means more and more impressions are going out if we remain uh gently reminding ourselves that yes i am meditating in my heart on the presence of the, the source within or the light emanating from that source it's in my heart that should be enough it does not matter you get 10 thoughts or 100 thoughts or just one thought or no thought idea is to remain in the glued on to this focus that yes divine presence is there in my heart and slowly this idea or the thought moves away and becomes an experience or a feeling of the divine essence inside the heart we'll take one step at a time so when you have meditated in the morning try to hold on to the spiritual state you have just acquired this morning in the evening ensure that what you felt in the morning at least is intact 
try to create that simplicity and purity in the heart with the process which we have been teaching how to rejuvenate ourselves by removing certain impressions. And make use of those uh, hours where we, where we remain talking with people or when we are sleeping or while we are having meals. These three, four things that we uh, do, which may not sound spiritually productive, like when you are talking to someone or while you are taking meals or when in the sleep. Generally, it is thought that these are useless activities, but no. Food, though we are taking it for our nourishment, physical nourishment, we can make use of this activity of eating food. But if we partake this food in remembrance of your spiritual state, spiritual condition, then the effect will be even better. When you are in a happy state of mind and when you partake food, I think it has a different impact than a person who is angry and shouting at his wife or shouting at his mother and taking food. I think it is almost like taking a poison. While discussing with someone, if that cheerfulness is not there, happiness is not there, Compassion is not there in that dialogue or discussion. Then it is as bad. Now, what sort of a discussion are we going to have when we lose a temper and express our thoughts and ideas? So we need to reinvent our ways how to communicate with each other. There should be gentleness. There should not be the artificiality. There should not be the idea of impressing someone, it should be natural, the way it comes from the heart. Well, often we come across such situations, but the best thing is to take a deep breath and I have found that when you breathe with the, with the left nostril, you should take a right thumb, close your right nostril and breathe with the left nostril 10 times, your anger will go away. 